All right, hey guys. So welcome to what, it's day 10, um, 10 classes already. Time is going fast. So today we are getting back into yoga for sleep. So this will be great um, to do in the evening. Again, we're gonna start with um, doing some good stuff to help you unwind those hip flexors, your shoulders, things that you do all day that kind of crunch the front body. So we're really gonna help open up the front body here um, and then get into some nice relaxing um, poses that'll help to um, de-stress that nervous system and really get your body and mind set for sleep. So today um, I'd recommend having either like two throw pillows or a nice big thick pillow, maybe a couch cushion um, and a blanket. So again, we're going to get nice and cozy for sleep. So let's hop on our mats and get started. We're going to start here at the top of the mat in Tadasana, all 10 toes facing forward, equal weight in both feet, lifting up through the chest. Close your eyes. Let's just take three to five breaths here to kind of settle into our practice. If you are doing it this at night or in the evening, you know, the day kind of has you a little chaotic, a little frazzled, you know. So just take these first few moments to um, get ready to do a nice, um, nice yoga practice here. Feel the breath, fill your belly and chest, your ribs, your back body. And as you exhale, just push everything out. Inhale the fresh air. Fully exhale all the stagnant air. Push it all out. Let's do one more time. Inhale that fresh, nutritious air. Exhaling everything. You don't need. Gently open up the eyes. With our left foot, let's step it back um, maybe two to three feet. You know, not fully into a lunge, but far enough back where there's um, an extension of the leg. We're going to plant our heel, and so our left toes will be out at about a 30 or 40 degree angle. Rotate your hips back to the front edge of the mat. So really activates the left inner thigh. So it's coming, like it's rolling in. Take your glutes down your back body, lift your hip points, and now reach up towards the sky. Hook your thumbs and reach more up through your outer side body, your outer shoulders, up all the way through the fingers. And just get a nice gentle opening of the hip flexors in chest. Maybe start to begin to gaze up towards the ceiling. And then on an inhale, release the arms, step forward. And then same thing, second side. Right foot steps back, plant the heel. To square off the hips back to the top of the mat, activates your right inner thigh. So it's rolling and you're rolling your right thigh bone in. You're anchoring through your heel. Really lift up the hip points. Those glutes are firing. And then reach up through your fingers. Hook the second side thumb. So the thumb that kind of feels awkward, do that second side. Once there, feel your outer shoulder blades lift. Reach up through your fingers and begin to Gently lean back to open up the front body. Again, if it feels good to look up at the sky, feel free to do that. And then on your next inhale, release the hands, step forward. Nice. Inhale, sweep wide, sweep up. 
exhale, fold forward. Soften through the knees, hands to the mat. Inhale, hands to shins. Reach your chest forward. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale to rise. Sweep wide, sweep up. Glutes down, chest up, lean back. Exhale, hands to heart. Two more times. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stretch your chest forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. As the fingers reach towards the sky, glutes down, chest up, lean back. Exhale, hands to heart. Again, inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Mini back bend at the top. Glutes down, chest up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, hands down, right foot to the back of the mat. Knee down, uncurl the toes. Inhale, arms overhead. Take your arms wide, and then the right arm is going to cross over the left, coming into eagle arms. So you're going to hook the elbows on the opposite sides of each other, and then come to hold your palms. Reach your elbows away and up, and start to lean your shoulders back. Be sure you're pressing your shin through the floor to keep your glutes engaged. Lean back, lift the elbows. One more inhale. Exhale, hands down. Lift the knee, step back, down dog. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga or belly. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, your right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, right foot forward. Inhale, arms overhead. This time the back leg is staying straight. Take your arms behind your back, lace your fingers, reach through your knuckles as you lift your chest. Press your toes through the floor this time. Lift your shoulder blades up and towards your chest. Deeply inhale, full exhale, and inhale, arms up. Exhale, touch down, step forward. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Mini back bend at the top. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stretch your chest forward. Exhale, left foot back. Left knee down, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to T. Now left arm over right, allow the elbows to hook. So the left elbow is on the outside of the right um, forearm. Pressing our shin down, elbows are stretching away from our chest, and then begin to lift them up, dropping our shoulders back as we come into a nice opening of our hip flexors. Extension of our thoracic spine. Then inhale, arms up. Exhale, touch down, down dog. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, let's all come to our belly. Press into your hands, cobra pose. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left foot between the thumbs. Inhale, arms overhead. Back foot pressing down. As an exhale, lace the fingers. Reach your knuckles towards the back of your mat. Then lift your shoulder blades up into your chest cavity. Lean back. We're leaning back, we're back bending but we're also creating space 
to back bend into. So lifting up as we lean back. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, touch down, step forward. Inhale, stretch forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep wide, sweep up. Exhale, hands to heart. Step your feet together. Leave a little space in between your heels, about an inch or so. Bend your knees, fingertips to the mat. Inhale your arms overhead, chair pose. Stay seated. Weight in the heels. Glutes, glute muscles. You're not sticking your butt out too far, so you're activating the top glute muscles and rolling them down slightly. Enough to activate the small of your belly. And then again, use your back body, that shoulder blade action forward and towards your chest to get that extension. Reach your arms overhead. Continue to hold. Deeply inhale. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees deeply. Inhale, chair pose. Hips back, chest up. Exhale, fold. Three more times. Inhale, bend the knees, lift the arms. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Utkatasana. Exhale. One more time. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, fold. Step back, down dog. Three breaths here in down dog. Pressing through our hands, anchoring through our inner heels. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale to the belly. Coming through your knees, slide your hands forward, sphinx pose, lifting our chest. I really just want a nice, good thoracic extension here. Again, a lot of times throughout our day, we're always rounding forward, keeping our shoulders collapsing into our chest cavity. So now press your pubic bone into the ground. So your glute muscles, again, are lengthening down the back of your legs. Press down through your forearms to lift the chest. So now isometrically drag your elbows back towards your body to feel a little back body strength happening. Just enjoy this mild back bend. Lifting up through the crown of your head. Anchoring down through your pelvis, the tops of your feet, and reaching your heart center forward. Slowly lower down. Press onto all fours. And then come into a seated position. Find your pillow. We're going to keep our legs straight and actually have your blanket handy too. So what we're going to do here is either double stack up your pillows or if you have one big thick one, definitely go and do, grab that. And then what we're going to do is just have a nice supported um, forward fold here. So as you come here, all I want you to do is kind of give your pillow a hug and then allow your forehead to come down onto the pillow or your support. Again, if you have the blanket nearby and the pillow is still too far away, fold up your blanket, make your support a little bit higher, and then just allow yourself to drape yourself over your support. Make sure the pillows have some contact with the belly because the, the process of your belly touching something helps to calm the nervous system. 
So that's why I finished with a nice sphinx pose, you know, belly down, um, de-energizing the nervous system. And now just have a nice little contact here with the pillows as you're folding forward. And with each inhale, just notice the pressure of the pillows. And as you exhale, feel your belly soften. Make your head completely heavy. If you want to turn your head to one side, go ahead and do so. Close your eyes. Make this feel as if you're giving yourself a big old hug. Telling yourself, great job today. Of all the good things that happened. If you have your head turned, turn to the other side. Bring your head to center. Slowly start to walk your hands back to help you lift your chest. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do um, a face down twist. So again, the pillows are going to be on the mat now. And again, if you want to take your blanket here as well, just draping your blanket over your pillows. So from here, we're going to um, have our right side of the body snuggled up into our blanket or pillows, whatever support we're using. And then we're going to start to lay on the outside of our right hips, so our left leg stacking on top. And then we're going to twist our chest towards our blankets. And again, you can adjust your hips, your body as needed, your knees. Think of your knees as 90 degrees, hips bent at 90 degrees. Twist your chest so you're facing down. And again, give your pillows a hug. And just keep your head turned to the side that your knees are facing. If you turn in the other direction, that's a little bit too strainful. But just allow this twist, again, to really help to begin relaxing the nervous system. So often the only thing we remember are the things that went wrong or somebody said something mean. So allow yourself to remain focused on the positive things that happened today. I promise you there's more good things that happen than you think. Begin to turn your head back to center. Start to press yourself up and we're just going to switch sides. So now the knees are going to be, we're going to be laying on the outside of our left leg with our right leg on top. And again, twisting our chest back towards the pillows, chest down, give yourself, give your pillows a hug and just settle into the comfort of their support. Sometimes this part of practice, the practice of slowing down and listening, is the hardest thing to do for us. But it's probably the thing we need most as well. So I'm going to close my mouth and allow you to rest here in silence for a few minutes.
turn your head back towards center and packing your hands into the mat to help yourself up. And slide your pillows, your blanket off of your mat. Come to Lion Savasana if you have um, a sweatshirt or socks that you want to put in for this Savasana, definitely go ahead and get yourself comfortable and warm. I'm going to put my sweater on. I'm getting a little chills here. And what we're going to do in Savasana, we're going to cover ourselves with our blanket. Like so. And then our pillow or pillows, we are going to place on our lower belly, top of thigh area. Right, so there's just a little weight pressing down through the belly and pelvis. Just allow your eyes to close. So begin to imagine that there's a warm white light at the crown of your head. As you inhale, the white light begins to spread over your forehead, temples, eyes, ears, jaw, completely relaxing those areas of the body. As you inhale again, it continues to travel down through the base of your skull, the sides of your neck, the tops of your shoulders, releasing all tension. On your next inhale, it envelops your heart center, travels down your arms all the way to the tips of your fingers, bringing you warmth and relaxation. Inhale again, your belly, your pelvis, the front of your hips, the back of your hips, your bone, completely relaxing. As you inhale, it travels, it continues to spread the tops of your thighs, the backs of your thighs. softening each nook and cranny. Next inhale, you feel the warmth travel through your caps, your heels, your arch, all the way to your toes. This next inhale, your body is completely absorbed in this warm, softening, white light. to remain here for, I'd say, at least another five minutes. And 
enveloping yourself in this warm white light. Definitely take this time. Great evening, sweet dreams. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.